guys, how's it going? Welcome back. It is time to do the review for the Reactor Work Light. This thing's got one of those new funky looking cool new style LEDs in it. It's really nice. Just ba -chow. Oh yeah, baby, we got light. And then some. This is crazy. Shoot nighttime RC videos with it. And uh, you've got a, a... Looks like a similar style one in the front. It's really bloody bright too. So, good range on it, too. I was actually out with this earlier tonight. And, uh, wow, could it ever light stuff up outside. Um, but I've used it, of course, in dark corners and underneath things. And, uh, wow, tell you, this thing lights up way better than those regular LED-styled ones. Um, and, of course, anything beats a, a regular light bulb. Because, you know, at least this, you turn it over, it's not going to go shatter on you. You know, um, actually it's pretty heavy duty casing too. I've dropped this thing a few times and no damage. Uh, pretty cool little hanger on the back. Um, I paid for this, I think about 10 bucks or something. Um, I have it on my unboxing video, exactly what I paid for it if you want to check out that one. Uh, it was like a whole tool score video I did. Uh, and this was among them, but it was it was on sale. I think it was like $10 or 20 bucks or something. I think it was 20 I remember right anyways it was a really good price um i was not going to pay retail for for that for for a work light um you know i mean i have nothing against reactor except for their double a batteries suck um but um this light definitely uh really good you get about uh, i believe about seven hours of run time out of this thing too which i i would say is um sort of accurate um, I'd say as far as really good lighting capability out of it, a uh, good five hours easy anyways. Um, and it's going to start to just slowly fade. Um, the stand base on this thing is nice. Um, if you've got a magnetic surface, um, it's nice because then it, you, you've also got so flat you can rotate it into position, right? And get on other angles and whatnot that you need. And it stays there really well. You know, it's a pretty, pretty decently strong magnet. You know, so not too shabby. Um, I would have to say, honestly, guys, and if you look through my channel, I've got other work lights that I've had in the past, uh, rechargeable ones, as well as uh, ones that are just operated off of either double A's or triple A's. And I'll tell you right now, this so far is the best work light I have ever owned. Uh, and it's a really solid built machine. Um, so Reactor, whoever the heck they are, did a really awesome, awesome job on this thing. And you also got a little LED indicator on the back uh, for charging status and when it's charged. It takes a couple hours to charge this puppy though. Um, you know, so just be aware that if it starts running low, put it on the charger. It's going to be a couple hours. And this is the little charger they give you with it. Um, you know, and uh, it works great. You know, as far as voltages go... Um, what's the voltage on this thing for output? And then I can give you an idea what's inside the thing. Uh, looks like output is 5 volts. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like 5 volt, 500 milliamp. So that puts this as a 3.7 volt um, lithium ion battery in there. And good few hours. So it's it's well it's probably about a 1500 uh, milliamp battery, maybe a 2000 milliamp. It is a few hours to recharge it. Um, but it does last for quite a few hours as well. So that's actually quite nice. Um, I like the black. The red is actually kind of cool on it. Um, it is um, rubberized here. Uh, it's not really a rubberized feeling on the case. The button, of course, is rubberized. And uh, you can definitely keep liquids out of there. So yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Charge port is nice on the back. And it's nicely exposed but hidden at the same time. The hanger is plastic, um, which is fine. But it's a really tough uh, plastic hanger. Uh, but yeah, I, I give this an easy 4 out of 5 for sure. But um, I think, you know, I would not pay the retail on this. But for the sale price I got it on, I think it was worth every penny and then some. 
Um, now, if I was in an actual super pinch and had no alternative, then maybe, yeah, I'd, I'd pay the retail. But, you know, I'm kind of fussy when it comes to tools because, you know, some stuff is worth the money, some stuff is way overpriced, you know. Um, and, and something like this, I think 20 bucks is actually quite reasonable because I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for this was 20 bucks. Uh, and definitely quite reasonable. Definitely a lot of light out of this bulb, too. Um, I have it on the unboxing, too, with the lumens are on it. Because I actually threw out the book, so I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but uh, it is definitely... It's going to light up your life and then some, you know. Um, I'm going to be using this, too, to, to do a couple of RC videos outside at night. Because it's going to give me some nice lighting back there. Uh, to help out with the camera and stuff. And because uh, we all know cameras are light dependent, but anyways, um, that'll be something you'll see in the future. Um, but anyway, that's it. That's all. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, if you have any questions, as always, and hey, check out my other videos. Sub to my channel, and you'll always get updates of all the stuff I do. Because I do all kinds of crazy stuff on my channel. Thanks again. Catch on the next one.